Hey guys, welcome back to the video chat project, the Golang series. In this video, we are working uh, with the WebRTC logic. Okay, so we've done all the other things. Uh, we're just left with the WebRTC logic and right now we're in the peers.go file. We are uh, now faced with two important functions, adding a track and removing a track. So we want to quickly finish them off. Uh, we'll say list lock dot lock and defer function p dot list lock dot unlock p dot signal peer connection so signal peer connection is another function that we'll be calling and just add an s because there are multiple connections so just add an s out here right now we'll call the web rtc new track local static rtp function dot rtp codec capability comma t dot id comma stream id so stream id we're going to write like this okay let's say track local comma error track local where t is small and now we'll handle the error so we'll say if error is not equal to nil log dot print ln and print out the error nil. then after that we'll say p dot track locals t dot id is equal to track local and return track local Track local basically is your variable, which is creating new track local static RTP, taking in codec, code capability, and your ID and your stream ID. And that's the one that you're basically going to return from this function, which is track local static RTP uh, is what you're returning from this function. Okay. Remove track basically does the opposite. So with remove track, what we'll do is again, we'll start with p dot list lock dot lock. Okay and very similar we'll say differ func p dot list lock dot unlock and p dot signal peer connections and at the end you'll just say delete p dot track locals comma by passing the id and that's it so we had um, our add track and our remove track, and this was it. Now the signal peer connections function is quite long, and we'll need a separate entire video just for that. Um, so what we'll do is we'll wrap up for the moment. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.